In this simulation, students are looking to find the relationship between depth and pressure. Students will start by hitting the Begin button. They can then navigate their sub to different locations underneath the surface of the water. The arrows represent velocity, so each time you click the arrow, you give your sub a little more speed. Take speed away using the back arrow, or you can use the back arrow to actually move backwards. Once students get the sub at rest, they can click the data button and it will tell them the pressure. To get the exact depth they're using the pressure sensor which is on the nose of the sub so they can navigate that to a grid line and they can see they're at about 1.5 meters below the surface. Students should take about eight different data points at drastically different depths. They want to make sure they navigate in such a way that they avoid the different obstacles if they do hit an obstacle, they'll be sent back to the beginning and they'll have to re-navigate to the location where they'd like to go. And again, when they want to take data, they need to stop the sub, both vertically and horizontally, hit the data button and get their new pressure reading. After the students collect eight pieces of data, they should be able to graph pressure versus depth they should get a linear graph. The slope of their graph will be the density of the water times the acceleration due to gravity, and the y-intercept of their graph will be atmospheric pressure. 